Okay, so y'all really love these black phone videos, and I'm gonna keep making them because I love black phone. So we're a black phone page now. Just kidding, but it lo it feels like it, right? So we got a lot of stuff. It's Thursday. Rise of Gru comes out today, and yes, I'm gonna go see this later tonight. So I'm super excited about that. The boys dropping a new episode after that explosive hero gasm, and then we also have Stranger Things season four, volume two, dropping tonight my goodness my head's gonna explode so i'm gonna definitely be covering stranger things balling 2 i'm gonna be doing a live watch party tonight more details on that tonight um but i'll put out a short video and everything talking about it as well so y'all know what's gonna happen with that it's gonna be fun trust me um we're gonna do a lot of live videos coming this summer so stay tuned for those watch parties all of that but let's get into this video so the black phone and the differences between the short story as well as the movie, what the hell was different? A lot. There was a lot of things that were different. Scott Derrickson, as I said before, added a lot of his own childhood traumas into this. And I definitely want to talk about that in a separate video, especially with religion and all of that as well, because it was something that really grabbed me about this uh, movie right here. One of the big key differences, however, I think that Scott Derrickson really added to this film that wasn't in the short story was the fact that there was more than one boy aiding Finney in this whole ordeal. So in the short story, you actually only have one boy, and the one boy actually tells Finney to just use the phone as a weapon. So it's very, very short, as I said, the short story. So in this short story the only boy we have is Bruce Bruce is the only one that tells Finney that the only way to get out of here is to actually use the phone as a weapon and that's what Finney does here so pretty much that's what we see another key difference while we're speaking about that weapon is the fact that Finney actually just strangles this uh, grabber and that's pretty much how he kills the grabber in the short story as opposed to in the movie where we see that snap nap, snap of the neck I, I don't know what happened there right there um, so yeah that's a big difference there uh, no Robin uh, no Paperboy none of those characters they were added into the film which I thought was interesting here because I thought that that was such a good dynamic of the film to have is these different boys giving their different scenarios with the grabber each a different tone as well and each pretty much aided in the um, death of the grabber by helping Finney uncover these weapons that he needed in order to fight the grabber and sort of maybe also give him this boost that he needed in order to be able to fight the grabber. I think that the whole dynamic of the film and the first time I watched this I cried when Robin was pretty much on the phone with Finney telling him he has to stand up for himself, he has to do it now, this is his chance and teaching him how to use that receiver i thought that was some of the most powerful images we've seen in cinema and you know i might be tooting the movie's horn a lot but i'm serious i really did like this part of the movie um especially just seeing finney at the end be a completely different person once he goes back to school um something else we also see that's different from the short story and the film as well is the fact that the grabber's brother does get more airtime uh, here than he does in the short story in the short story like the brother of the grabber is kind of like a surprise that comes at you because out of nowhere the door opens and there's this guy that Finney's never seen where as opposed to in the film that does happen for Finney but us as an audience we've seen the brother already and I thought that the brother was in on it at first because I read the short story later after I watched the film so I thought that he was in it on it first but no he was just really trying to solve this whole thing and that's pretty much something that's interesting to me here is that we get this whole ordeal of the grabber's brother trying to solve this case that his own brother has actually been the perpetrator of um, naughty boy is also something that doesn't exist in the um, short story but it is made for the film which I thought was interesting to add as well because I think that the whole naughty boy dynamic thing definitely added to a lot of the tension that we got in this movie um, especially during the scenes when Finney was about to try and go and the grabber's just there and then he doesn't and then another time he does go and the grabber's there but asleep I definitely think those were some of the most tense scenes this whole movie had another difference also is the grabber being more of a plus size guy named Al who pretty much is more along the lines of a John Wayne Gacy uh, type of character 
and that's pretty much what they were sort of going for they even went with the whole clown aesthetic part of it whereas opposed to in the film it is a magician so it is very much so different because Joe Hill even says that they weren't really trying to do something along the lines of a clown due to the success of it and all of that and by the way Joe Hill is Stephen King's son so I don't think he wants to be under the shadow of his own father with that so uh, definitely a good move to change him to a magician I did think that the dynamics of this whole thing especially with him asking Finn if he wants to see a magic trick and everything made it much more interesting also um, in the short story the sister is actually older and doesn't have uh, powers so I think that the whole added um, powers thing to this uh, film was better I think it really makes this whole sibling um, relationship that much stronger and by the end of it when they're reunited as well they've always been sort of the telepathically united I would say so when they finally see this um, reunion happen I think it is that much more powerful now in the ending of the short story with it being a short story of course it ends much more quicker as I said it ends with Finney saying that on the other end of the phone is somebody trying to talk to the grabber but we don't really know who it is Whereas opposed to in the short film, it is the other boys who are there now taunting the grabber and telling the grabber that now it's his turn to die. And then we actually see the reunion with Finney and his sister, which I said was very powerful and really, really well built. We also see Finney go back to school and now he is this different person at school. Everybody sees him as the kid who killed the grabber so there's like this new added respect and everything for him which I think was cool to see as well because Finney had been struggling a lot at school so I think that that definitely made it much more powerful as well. So a lot of differences from the short to the film in itself and I think every difference, everything they added and everything they took away definitely made it that much more of a better story. I'm excited to see what sequel they do have planned. As I said before in my other videos, Scott Derrickson says that Joe Hill has a plan for a sequel and I think that Joe Hill could definitely um, flesh out a pretty good story but I also think that uh, Robert Cargill and Scott Derrickson can add to that story as they did with this one so I'm excited the film is overperforming already at the box office so the sequel is pretty much a go but we haven't had any confirmation yet let me know your thoughts and your opinions on it as I said I do have one more video on the black phone coming out which talks about the religion and the trauma and all of that so stay tuned for that video pretty soon and also this Stranger Things watch party will be tonight. I will do a video on the boys as well tonight and I'll have a video on Gru tomorrow. And yeah, it's going to be a pretty packed weekend so I'm excited about it. As always, that's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We will do a giveaway. I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.